It happens. It's like getting the giggles, you know? I mean, when people get tickled on, on set, it's love that. Yeah. yeah. Man, you know, this talk because I can't stop. Jerry's notorious. I mean, they, oh, we have to like stop production for half an hour. Like, I'm not walking off. Yeah, I'm walking off. I want to be there for that. Oh, man. You'll be pissed at me because I won't help. Yeah, you won't help the situation. I have done, I have done my coverage to a vibrating Jared's face. <laughs> and I'm just stone faced giving my coverage because I don't have time to like, you know, deal with the shenanigans. Sorry. I, that's, you know, I'm sure there's many more stories, but I don't want to bore you guys. Hi. You guys are too busy that every time. You can run it. You can run it. Just ask the question and, and you know what? we'll figure it out. I've done eight episodes, I've done, this man has done eight seasons. Surprise, surprise, you have a few more questions for me. <laughs> What is, what is your question? I'd like to know if uh, NBC did uh, how they earned their business influence your view as a person. How does Dean influence Jensen? Uh, well, he takes up a lot of my time. Uh, he is, man, he is just, he just steals time. He is a mean little, yeah. Um, no, you, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting because uh, over eight years, you know, you, you, you grow up a lot as a, just as a person. You know, we mature, we get older, you know, we, we obtain more knowledge, uh, we have life experiences that kind of shape who we are as human beings. Um, one of my major life experiences has been playing this character for eight years. So absolutely, he's, he's a part of, or he's, he is, you know, the experience of playing Dean has definitely given me an experience, a life experience that has helped shape who I am. Um, what specifically that could have to be, I don't, I don't know specifics, but just a generalization, you know, I spent eight years with this, you know, with this character. Um, you know, one of the reasons that I, I kind of grow my facial hair out and, you know, I, I actually, my hair was pretty long as of uh, two days ago and then I cut it again. Um, but part of the reason I do that is so that I can see somebody different in the mirror. Because I literally, like, it's, when I shake it, I'm like, there's, there's the Winchester. Um, and so this, this kind of helps me shed that character for a few months out of the year and kind of, you know, kind of purge myself. Um, and then, you know, come July, I shave and my voice gets down to here. <laughs> we go back, we go back at it. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, he's absolutely uh, been a huge part of, of you know, the last, the better part of the decade. So that's, that's a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is time. Thank you, all right. I'm gonna get a big award. Good luck, Ty. <laughs> Please, this question is so lovely. Uh, uh, you know how I stay grounded? Uh, my bills, my mortgage, my divorce, my children, my life, my bad hair days. <laughs> you have friends, you, I mean, you like me to have friends that are just completely unimpressed with what you do for a living? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's weird. And my kids. And, well, yeah, but not impressed. No. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say completely not impressed. I, mean, I, I think they respect what I do, but it's, it's funny, uh, you know, as I've gotten older, kind of the, the, my friends, a group of friends has kind of gotten smaller, um, you know, and more concentrated. But those friends that I, that I have, have kind of clung to over the past, you know, 10 years, um, they don't. They don't, they don't treat me as a, as a, a TV star or a celebrity or a, you know, they, they treat me like their buddy that they knew 10 years ago. And I think that, I think that having people in your life, family, you know, that, that treat you the way that they always have and that never changed. And again, I'm not because I, I do, you know, I said it all in my parents, but I'll even, 
can't, can't go to your face. Uh, you and Jared, but I always say it's, you know, the incredible thing about Jensen and Jared is that they have James, which is a two ball. I've been a little bit of a guest in a few shows. I've done 150 different projects, so I'm an expert in this field working on other people's shows. I can tell you how rare it is for two guys to stay as brown as you two have been. So yes, I give you credit to your friends, but you made the choice to keep those friends around you. There's a lot of people know. You, may, you know what I mean? Seriously. You may Thanks, know. Yeah, you may know. when they're 30 pounds overweight and shoulders. Nobody wants to tell you the great things that people do. So I think uh, I, I try to make a point of doing that. And I, so I sincerely mean that about these two gentlemen that work on the show. I never, I've been doing this since 1997. I've never had, I'll tell you my Jensen story. Don't let your head blow up. So. I'm not listening. Uh, I, I've never had once the star of the show come up to me and say, or first of all, the AD, Come up to me and say, just want to know if you want to shoot your stuff first or his stuff first. <laughs> never. Not once. 145 projects. I've never, ever had that. I'm like, I'm literally like, uh, I'm ready to do it in any way you want. Uh, that's very nice. Half an hour later, Jensen comes over and goes, hey dude, want to run your lines? It was all my dialogue. The last thing he really wants to do is run a fucking scene with me. But he's got five lines in the scene. And that, uh, that, that speaks of his character, speaks of him as a, as a leader on the show. And uh, yes, I know you have a lot of great friends around you, but you have good friends around you. There's some people don't. So, thank you. Thanks. That's all I want. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, okay. Shall I do that? Uh, first of all, I want to say you, uh, I love you, you're a really good actor, and uh, see you with my dream since the uh, first 10 years. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, I'd like to know uh, if uh, you're not tired to play uh, Dean Chester since uh, 8 years. So, uh, what's the question that you get? Uh, if uh, you're not tired to play Dean Chester since 8 years. Am I tired of playing Dean Winchester? Why, if I look tired? <laughs> is it just coming across that I'm just fed up with this guy and I just want to kick him to the curb? Because I don't. I actually, I, I, I am so thankful uh, of, this, uh, of this journey that I, I've gotten to go on um, these past eight years. And uh, um, I, I couldn't, uh, I mean, Look, there's a lot of great characters in, in film and in television and, and, and stories out there. Um, I think I got a pretty good one. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I still enjoy going to work uh, after 170 plus episodes. So it's, uh, no, I, I, I'm not tired. Do I get tired of working? Yeah, every, I think everybody has their moments. You know, there's some days when it's, you know, the middle of January and we have to be up at 6 a.m. and it's 22 degrees outside. It's Fahrenheit. I know you guys are the Celsius, but it's not being like that. It's cold, very cold. And the last thing you want to do is, you know, go put on your, you know, your, your, your actor face and, and get in front of a camera that you know is going to be watched by millions of people. But that's when I push through and I'm like, you know what, this is one of the best jobs anybody could ever ask for. And I'm going to, damn it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to love it. And I do. So, yeah, thank you. You know why this show got eight seasons? You guys. I mean, these guys get a fabulous show, and if you don't watch it, you don't support it, it doesn't exist. Lots of fabulous shows fall away. And so you guys, the fan base of the show has this footnote. This is why this is so great. Uh, you know, guys, this is what we've done a good couple of these. And, you know, this is, it's such a unique opportunity to, to get to truly interact with the people that, uh, that support you. 
you know, that, that, that watch the show, that, uh, that really kind of go to bat for, for I mean, you guys, you guys really kind of protect us, too. I mean, you, you do. You, you say us from, like, a lot of the naysayers, and the, even though there might be a few of you in the crowd. Uh, okay. Uh, but no, I mean, you really, you really say this from the critics. You know, you say this from the people that are like, what is the show? Why is it still on the air? Um, and a lot of times, you know, I've heard a lot of stories from you guys. But like, you know, that my friend didn't, uh, didn't understand it, didn't know what the show was, and, and now it's like her favorite show on the air, and you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's, uh, it really is you guys that, that are the, uh, the driving force behind what we do. And, and it's, uh, it's, it's a great honor for us to get to come here and talk with you and ask answer your questions and, and, and just, just be around this kind of energy because it's uh, it, it, it helps us move forward and it keeps us excited about what we do. So thank you. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I don't 
still writing for the break rules every half hour. So. <laughs> it's a drawing of me and my wife. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Yes. I'm fired. Was there, <laughs> was there a question? Okay. Okay. What do you both have in common with your character? We both look alike. <laughs> That's the go-to question. Yeah, the go-to answer there. Um, I don't know, Ty? Oh, this question will creep me out. Because uh, I have to be more of a than I like sometimes. Um, you know, I think the big real power thing about Betty is that he's a real world. Uh, outside of what everybody else is just sitting in this ball. The vampires is among the humans. And, uh, and neither do I. Among the humans, rather. Uh, I've always felt that I was born in the wrong time zone. Uh, at the time, era. I'm a little out of place, a lot of time. People don't always get me. I still don't get it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm confounded by, by things that people so important and, and then other things. I mean, yeah, so that's that, that's for me. That's the biggest thing is that I just I, I feel like uh, I know exactly where that what it's like to be floating in a, in a world that you don't quite belong. In. Ty came in and did uh, it did just I, I think you all did a, did a fantastic job. And I mean it was it wasn't like the character you know had to kind of develop. But he came in and was just like, boom, that's Benny, that makes sense. And we instantly, there was instant chemistry between the two characters, and, and that, of course, fueled multiple episodes. And, um, I, you know, I, I, not to brag too much about him, but it's, uh, and I told the writers this, it's one of my favorite storylines to date is the Benny storyline. I just love the complexity of which it was, you know, and, and, and how it happened, with the, what it did to the brothers' relationship, you know, how it, it really kind of, uh, you know, contradicted everything Dean believed in, but at the same time, there was a there was a, a friendship there that uh, superseded, um, you know, what uh, what should should have been done. And uh, it was really easy when he came in because he just he nailed the character, he had it down from, from the get go, and uh, we immediately were just like, wow, this is this is a cool chemistry between two characters, and uh, it's it's really it's really fun when two actors. Uh, you know, who are relative strangers to each other, uh, get on set and then just start flowing. And we really did. I mean, he and I just started, it, it, was, it was just like, you know, it was like, uh, uh, it's, always, it's, always, it's just like, like, like we know, like we work together for years. And this is why I do it. This is why I do it, you know? Like, I, I, I'm very fortunate to work, to work a lot, stay busy, but um, not every project's got that feeling that most projects don't. And uh, I can never be on, even, even be on the <laughs> Godzilla instead, uh, make a good living, doing what I love, having fun, great, great people, great you know, experience, but be longingly thinking, oh, okay, we have to go do another supernatural episode, because it just, you know, you, you get to click into something that feels so good, it feels so right, it just feeds your soul, it makes, it just makes me feel so good to be able to do something I love, and that role, writers, it's just a great role, well. too, yeah, you guys, it's just, yeah, it's great, um, sorry, that really wasn't, the question that you were asking, but, but uh, uh, as far as you know, what I have in common with Dean, uh, you know, there's a lot that I have in common with Dean. There's a lot that I don't have in common with Dean. Um, you know, I think he's. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that on remote control? Please tell me it's on remote control. <laughs> Yeah, give it a little. There you go. Just a hi. <laughs> I feel like a little child. What the hell is going on right now? I don't know. I think it's really cut me out to just see Joel's fat. I think that's bad. Aww. Come here. Come here. Anyway. Thanks for the question. Uh, that's one thing Dean and I have in common. Hi. Hi, this is sorry, I'm looking for first test, the first mention. Uh, so I was asked about uh, Dean's face. Uh, that's amazing, Salvage. Uh, just amazing. I 
Did you say his face? His praise. His praise. Yes, okay, yes, the so, phrase, yeah. What is uh, your phrase uh, in the past of your time and what was the phrases that you gave your character by yourself? Um, I think that particular phrase was something that came out of a performance choice that I gave in, in the pilot episode, in the very first episode of the series. Um, it was, uh, it was, it was on the bridge. What? 